There's a lot to go over, so uh, let's just jump in, cover it all at once. It's time for a news smash. First up, the stock market. People on Reddit started buying stock in GameStop as a joke, and it caused so much chaos that some CEOs want trading to be halted. People can't keep their eyes off the market right now. You know what else people can't keep their eyes off of? Bridgerton. It's officially <laughs> the most watched series in Netflix history with 82 million viewers. The characters are high society Londoners, so fancy and proper. They're kind of like people who wouldn't be caught dead at the new Margaritaville Resort <laughs> in Times Square. It's coming later this year. It has an outdoor pool, rooftop views, and a giant Statue of Liberty holding a margarita. <laughs> if you ask me, the whole thing seems nuts. <laughs> yeah, there's a grape nuts shortage. The company says it's difficult to produce the cereal right now, and most stores are out of stock. What's happening? <laughs> our stock's going up, down. It feels like Reddit took a hammer to the market, and now the system's totally smashed. And if you want to get totally smashed, why not try the Margaritaville Resort <laughs> in Times Square? You probably shouldn't swim with a bunch of drunk strangers, but do your thing. I'll be on my couch sipping tea and watching Bridgerton. <laughs> it's a great show. There's romance, scandal, and in that classic British fashion, the humor is really dry, but not nearly as dry as grape nuts. <laughs> Everyone's favorite gravel-based cereal. <laughs> the company's suffering, and that's why we should all, by now, get it while it's low. Uh, there can be as rich as everyone on Bridgerton. In conclusion, it's taking a hit. It's full of Brits. It's a spoonful of grit. <laughs> Elmo is about to get lit. This has been a news smash. First up, it's St. Patrick's Day. The big parade might not be happening this year, but that doesn't mean you can't celebrate the Irish with some corned beef and cabbage that you bought using the money from your stimulus check. Biden says 100 million people will receive $1,400 or more in the next 10 days. Though I have a feeling a lot of them will blow their money on March Madness. People are making bets left and right. Who will make it to the Sweet 16, the Final Four? Who will go all the way? Well, if you want to go all the way, why not try Tinder? The app is in the news because they're mailing free COVID tests to people so they can be safe before going on dates. Some users like the idea. Others think it's weird. But one idea everyone can get behind? Stimulus checks. <laughs> Give me that stimmy, that moolah, that cold hard cash, that cheddar, that paper, that lettuce, that green. Green beer, green hair, green clothes. Some people pinch you if you're not wearing green, and they're the kind of people you should avoid on Tinder. You can get tested before a big date. Let's be honest, you should probably get tested after, too. Though I got to say, dating right now seems like complete madness. 68 teams vying for the top spot, a bunch of college kids going at it, which is also a great way to describe Tinder. In conclusion, you're in luck. Good luck out there. You might get lucky. It's the luck of the Irish. This has been a news smash. First up, the Masters. The tournament kicked off this week, and professional golfers from all over the world are in Georgia. I just hope they all got the vaccine. One in four Americans has already gotten theirs, and that's more than 60 million people. Yeah, 60 million, which is also the number of new Taylor Swift albums. <laughs> this is her third album in less than a year. Some of her songs are hopeful, some are heartbreaking. If you'd like your heart to break, why not try Jimmy Dean's new <laughs> breakfast nuggets? I mean, if you want to wake up first thing in the morning and burn your mouth in some microwave nuggets, you must be pretty fearless. <laughs> yep. Taylor re-recorded her hit album. Long story short, she's reclaiming her old songs because she lost the rights to the masters. <laughs> There's Brooks Kepka, Rory McIlroy, Jordan Spieth. They might have weird names, but they get the job done. Kind of like the vaccines. <laughs> Some people have reported feeling sore and woozy after their second dose, which is also how you'll feel after eating Jimmy Dean's new <laughs> breakfast nuggets. In conclusion, you're number one. Two flavors, three great options, four. <laughs> this has been a new snack. First up, Prince William and Kate Middleton have launched their own YouTube channel. They plan to upload videos, though it's not clear how often they could post every day or they could post once every 17 years. That's right. 
The cicadas are back. Experts are expecting trillions of these loud, obnoxious bugs to emerge from underground just in time for Mother's Day. <laughs> it's this weekend, so if you haven't bought a gift, you should get on that. Though mom would be happy with whatever you get her, as long as it isn't a taco with a cigarette inside. <laughs> That's right, a woman says she found a damp cigarette in her Taco Bell meal. That's disgusting. I mean, to be honest, I'd rather find a cicada. They only <laughs> pop up once every 17 years, so it's easy to forget about them. But it, it's okay, as long as you don't forget about Mother's Day. I mean, how could you? <laughs> Flowers, cards, chocolates, Mother's Day stuff is everywhere. No matter where you turn, you can't escape it. Kind of like the royal family. <laughs> every TV show and movie is about them, and now they're taking over YouTube, too. I can't wait to see their first prank video when they put a cigarette in someone's taco. <laughs> what a terrible meal. It is the opposite of what you'll get on Mother's Day. <laughs> and you get to eat it in bed. So in conclusion, this should be fun. There's gonna be a ton. Mom, you're number one. Think outside the bun. <laughs> this has been a news map. First up, the WNBA champions, the Seattle Storm. They visited President Biden today, and get this, they're the first WNBA team to be invited to the White House since 2015. It's a pretty big deal. Uh, speaking of storms that are a pretty big deal, Tropical Depression Henri. <laughs> Over the weekend, 45 million people were under a tropical storm warning. So last week, things on the East Coast were hot and sticky, and this week, things were just wet. And if you <laughs> want something that's just hot, wet, and sticky, why not try... Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Latte. It's back starting tomorrow. Some people are excited, while others think it's too early for pumpkin spice. Either way, drinking one is way better than eating a pizza covered in nuts and bowls. Yeah, a woman reportedly ate half of her Domino's pizza before finding them in her toppings. Can you imagine digesting all that cheese and metal? I mean, that would rock you like a hurricane. That was downgraded to a tropical depression. Sure, it doesn't feel good to be demoted, but keep your head up, Henri. <laughs> if you work hard and do your best, you too can be the storm invited to the White House. <laughs> the team took pictures with the Bidens, and of course, a lot of the players are taller than them. And if you want something tall that's from Seattle, why not try Starbucks pumpkin spice latte? <laughs> it's only five bucks for a tall. <laughs> so it'll be on the house if you find nuts and bolts in it. That <laughs> If that woman sues Domino's, she could probably make a lot of money. I bet she could even make it rain. <laughs> Henri broke the record for rainfall in one hour in New York, which is nuts and bolts. <laughs> in conclusion, OMG, FYI, PSL, FML. <laughs> this has been a new snap. First up, the Justice for J6 rally tomorrow. Right-wing protesters will flock to Washington to protest how the January 6th rioters are being treated. And some people are worried things could get out of hand like last time. Speaking of things getting out of hand, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> it all started when she skipped the Met Gala because she's unvaccinated. She tweeted that she's on the fence about the vaccine because it supposedly gave her cousin's friend swollen testicles. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of things blowing up, Lil Nas X is really having a moment. His debut album just dropped, and it is great. It starts with the hit song Montero, followed by a new song called Dead Right Now. And if you want to be dead right now, why not try Sam Adams' new beer that's 28% alcohol? It's illegal in 15 states. I mean, drink one glass of this stuff and you're gone. You might even start thinking it's a good idea to attend the Justice for J6 rally. <laughs> President Trump says the rally is a setup, and now a lot of people are on edge. Regardless of what happens, there's no doubt the whole thing is nuts. There's <laughs> a lot of misinformation out there, but experts say the vaccine is safe. And you know what's not safe? Sam Adams' new beer. One sip, <laughs> you'll be upside down, naked, and singing at the top of your lungs. Kind of like Lil Nas X. He's <laughs> everywhere right now. He even managed to make his way to the Met Gala, which basically is just a... Big ball. In conclusion, <laughs> just relax, love the tracks, check the facts. You're my best friend, you know that? <laughs> this has been a new smash.
First up, Squid Game. Netflix says it's on track to be their biggest show ever. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out, though it might be hard to understand if you don't have subtitles on. Speaking of things that are hard to understand, the debt ceiling. Are we raising it? Are we lowering it? What's going on? It's dominated the news cycle all week, and it's got everyone stressed out. It almost makes you want to just curl up in a ball and listen to Adele. <laughs> Her first song in six years comes out next week. Uh, she released a teaser for the song, and everyone's really excited for it. Uh, you know what no one's excited for? Grape Upon Wine. Yeah, <laughs> it's made with grapes and mustard seeds. I'm not sure who this appeals to. I mean, I don't want to drink it. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather just sign up to play Squid Game. It's intense. <laughs> Hundreds of people fighting to the death to pay off their debts. They're crying, they're screaming. They're a total wreck, kind of like everyone when they listen to Adele. <laughs> The teaser for her song is only 20 seconds long, but it has over 8 million views. It's called Easy On Me, and uh, you know what hasn't been easy on me? Understanding the debt ceiling. <laughs> Congress has agreed to raise it for two months by $480 billion, which is also how much you need to pay me to try Grey Poupon 1. <laughs> no one wants to pay for mustard uh, that gets you drunk. Uh, you know what else no one wants to pay for? Raising the debt ceiling. Again, <laughs> but hey, Congress, if you're still strapped for cash, there's always Squid Game. <laughs> In conclusion, here we go. Need more dough? Awesome show? Just no. <laughs> this has been a news. <laughs> First up, the supply chain. President Biden just met with several companies like Walmart, Target, and FedEx to discuss solutions, and it's not looking great. Uh, but you know who is looking great? Paul Rudd. <laughs> he was named People's Sexiest Man Alive. Good for him. He's universally beloved. He makes us all laugh. But if you prefer someone who's universally beloved and makes us all cry, there's always Adele. She just <laughs> debuted a new song in an Amazon holiday commercial, and it's fantastic. The song is called Hold On, and it's all about not giving up. Uh, but if you want to give up, why not try Arby's new French fry <laughs> vodka? They're releasing two bottles and apparently have the same flavor profile as their curly and crinkle-cut fries. <laughs> I don't understand how that would even work. Uh, speaking of things I don't understand, the supply chain. Uh, <laughs> shipping, trucking, inflation, all of it has people really stressed out, but it's gonna be okay. Just take a deep breath, pour yourself some wine, and listen to Adele. The new album <laughs> drops next week. Her first album was 19, we love that. Then 21, we love that. Then 25, and now 30. We really really seen her grow up over the years. Uh, you know who hasn't grown up? Paul Rudd. I mean, look at the guy. He, he, he only gets better with age. You know what doesn't get better with age? Arby's vodka. I, I just don't get it. I mean, from the vodka itself to the label all the way to the bottleneck. Everything's completely backed up, so it'll affect prices. And if you order anything online, be prepared to hold on. In conclusion, what a guy. Time to cry. Low supply. <laughs> Just why? This has been a news. Hey, hey.